Hello, hello, and welcome to Psychic Truth. I am Psychic Fairy Joy tonight. Yes, I am. I am living vicariously through Halloween costumes for the entire week. Now, you guys know Halloween is coming up, so if you visit thepsychictruth.com slash radio, we have a special promotion just for you radio listeners, just for you angels out in radio land. When you go on in, you fill out a short little form, you actually subscribe, and there's going to be five winners chosen for a 30-minute free reading with the reader of your choice, because we love you so much. We are coming in hot with all the specials. There's also a first three minutes free promotion going on, so head on over to thepsychictruth.com, because we love you so much. Now, I really love you guys, and I'm really excited about this week. You know, yesterday I was a super soul. Tonight, I am a psychic fairy. You can just do whatever your imagination can allow. You can just decide. You can make a choice this week. Hey, I want to have fun. I want to have a good time. I want to release some of these, you know, worries and fears and anxieties that I'm carrying. Let's allow ourselves some time and space this week for some. This is a form of self-care. This is a form of nurturing. This is a form of loving on yourself. This is a form of vibe raising. And we are all about vibe raising. We're always going to be mindful of the vibes that we're putting off because we're affecting those that we come in contact with, whether it be close or not. And it causes the choices that we make. They kind of cause like a spiral effect. So you've got to make more choices because of the choice you made. Let's always look at it as a learning experience that we are here for. Remember, angels, we are eternal, limitless beings. And given the fact that we learn through experiences, you know, we're creatures of habit. So we're going to have these experiences to learn. But do we keep going through the same lessons over again? Or do we want to level up, take those lessons, internalize them, and use them, you know, apply them moving forward? So we can be open and make space for newness. Whatever the universe, Buddha, Allah, Jesus, whatever resonates for you, it's for me, it's all the same. We all come from the same source of creation. So, you know, there's no in and out there. Whatever it is, you know, it, it's for you. You come here to learn things. You come here to level up. You come here for failure and, you know, su to succeed, to fall down seven times and to get up eight. Yes, we are eternal. We're limitless. And nothing's going to define us. Nothing's going to hold us down. Except for ourselves. You know, we kind of create those self-imposed prisons. We got to break out of that. Being our own worst critic, telling ourselves that we just can't do things. Or, you know, how about when we tell ourselves we're not good enough? Or when we even compare ourselves to others, that's when we really get ourselves minds through. We screw ourselves over. Our bodies, our brains, they kind of listen to our thoughts in our words. You know, just how the universe with the manifestation, the thoughts, the words, the deeds, all in alignment. That's how you manifest. And also that key element we often forget that I got to mention, allowing those emotions to rise up. This is how, a, you know, like attracts, so if like attracts like, let's make sure that we're pulling in something positive. Let's not sit around focused on what had happened. What had happened was, well, we don't want to talk about what happened. We want to talk about the solutions we're looking for. We want to talk about the, the ways that we can make improvements, the ways that we can make ourselves and become more sensitive to the energies that we're surrounded by. The veil is thinning. It is Halloween month. It is Halloween week. And I am so excited. Can you angels hear it in my voice? Who knows what I'm going to be tomorrow? Tonight, I'm psychic fairy joy. I don't know. I, you know, we're balling. The, the ball is in our court. This is our lives. We've got total, complete control over every choice we make. May not be able to control every situation that comes up. We may not be able to control people, places, and things that surround us, but what we can control is our reactions, our responses, how we choose to respond. What are we going to do with this big mess that came and got dropped in our lap? We can't control it. We can't control other people. Can't get them to listen to us. Certainly can't. But we can, you know, choose to be a beacon of light because I'm full of it. Love and light, and so are you because we are connected. I am a dope individual, and so are you because we are connected. I'm amazing, eternal, and limitless, and so are you because we are connected. We all come on this level playing field. There's no better. There's no less. We're all awesome. Love, love, love is the highest form of understanding. It is the highest vibration. I absolutely love you, and I want you angels, angels, not angels, angels, to remember. Put yourself first sometimes. Say no sometimes. Create those boundaries that you think about creating in your mind. You know, have the bravery, have the bravery to say, no, I can't do that. Or this is how I feel. I'm not going to agree with you. I'm not going to feel intimidated and I'm not going to look around at the outside world for validation. I'm going to see what resonates for me deep down within. I'm going to see what touches my happy place, what seems so true and so pure within my heart. And I'm going to go with that. And that's going to be OK, because you know what? 
No one needs cookie cutter sameness. We need people with different histories, cultures, backgrounds, upbringings, beliefs, so that we can learn. You know, imagine a large, clear crystal quartz. And imagine this quartz shattered into so many pieces, we couldn't fathom, we couldn't count them. So kind of think about that quartz as consciousness, you know? And we've got this beautiful crystal and it's everything. And it kind of got bored because, you know, it was a magnificent crystal. So it decided to shatter into all these fragments so it could go out into the world and have all these beautiful experiences all at one time because it was so wonderful. It could do that. I'm just saying, limitless, limitless. And it doesn't matter what you believe. We are all so full of love. You know, love is the highest vibration. This is a love planet. And we are here on the front lines. We are here to heal the planet. You know, soul by soul, when you raise the vibrations of a person and then another person and then another person, this adds up collectively. And this is how we heal the planet. This is one of the ways that we heal the planet. It's a love planet. So it's all about vibrations. And if you're going to ask me, not that you did. <laughs> Source is vibe. You know, love, that's the highest vibe. And that is the vibe of the planet. So it only makes sense that we're connected to it and everything that we need to heal and everything that we need to live, everything that we need to nurture, you know, ourselves is here for us. We've got to do better taking care of ourselves. We've got to do better taking care of our planet. You know, it all starts within. It starts with your thoughts about yourself and how we have these awful thoughts of ourselves. Let's make our thoughts of ourselves more like who we are on the inside. Today, let's look in the mirror and say, hey, I am awesome. I am amazing. Not any one of those bad mistakes define me. I'm going to move forward. I get to make a new choice. I get to look at myself and say, wow, I am a masterpiece. I am working on myself. I am a masterpiece. And I'm never going to be finished. I'm never, you know, I'm looking for perfection. We're striving for perfection. Of course, no one is perfect. But every day, I really do truly pick up a little trait of mine. It might be a negative trait. Hey, I don't blame me, angels. I'm an Aries. I am a stubborn, impatient Aries. Yes, I am. But there's good and there's bad and there's duality in all things. So every day, I say, you know what? I'm going to look and see what I can work on today. What can I better about myself? Can I be a little more patient? You know, can I be a little more uh, generous? Can I be a little more forgiving of myself? Can I take more time for the things that I want to do? Because I put a lot of energy into those around me. I cook and I clean and I care for my family. I take care of me my responsibilities. How many of you guys out there in Radio Land know exactly what I'm talking about? Now, when you run some clarity, some guidance, some closure, some confirmation, tips, hints, and clues, you guys come on over to thepsychictruth.com. Oh, you guys, if you're looking at me with this wig, the hairs are just everywhere, all on my lips. What do you think about this glitter? What do you think about it for those of you who are watching me? I took a long time to put this glitter on. Yes, these earphones are sliding around, but I absolutely love you, and I want you to pick up what I'm laying down. I am sending out high vibes. I am sending out love, and I want us to love on ourselves. you got to give yourself that time and that space. Sometimes it's just about downtime. Sometimes it's just about simply putting your feet up and just having a moment to catch your breath, to process your thoughts, you know, to integrate those downloads that we receive constantly. Each time we go through a situation, we are receiving downloads. There is a lesson. We are here to learn. There's always a lesson there. There's always a reason. Each and every person that you encounter in life is all for a reason. You know, all the lessons you came here to learn, everyone's chosen accordingly just to get you where you need to go. Dawn and Dawn in Lynn, Massachusetts. Yes, come on in, Dawn. How you doing, sis? Good, how are you? I am awesome, awesome. What can we do for you tonight? We love you so much. And happy Halloween is coming up, Dawn. Yes, it is. Yes, we love this time of year. The veil is so thin. So what can I do for you tonight, sis? Um, actually, I wanted to get a medium read. Oh, honey, darling, I don't offer mediumship. I am an intuitive empath. I work with oracle cards, tarot decks, and there's some intuitive input. Would you like me to pull a few cards for you, lovely? Sure. All right, I will be absolutely happy to. Dawn, can we get a message for Dawn? Please and thank you. We're going to come from this Earth Magic deck first for you, Dawn. What can we get for Dawn? Thank you. You hear me talking to spirit out loud, Dawn? Do you hear that? My kids think I'm crazy. I think it's more effective. I think it carries more, you know, energy than the thoughts. That's just my... Okay, so we have you having learned so much through your trials and errors, through your situations, through your relationships. And I have the dragonfly and emergence card. Now, if you were watching, you would so totally see how beautiful and bad behind this lady is. She has decided to take the lessons from every situation in life. She decided to take, because you're not, there's nothing dumb or slow about you. 
you are quick on the uptake. I would say I was slow on the uptake. Dawn, I'm going to say you're quick on the uptake. I'm going to say you hardly miss a thing. You may not always speak on it, but you hardly miss a thing. I think that you have a quick brain, a smart brain. I think you're really intelligent. That's what they're giving me. Like, there's nothing slow about you. Like, this lady is, you know, snappy with it, snappy with the comebacks. You are beautiful, and you have taken so much growth. You got the lotus flower, so there's a lot of awareness going on, and I'm so happy that you did ask for a mediumship reading. This lets me know, Dawn, that you are aware. The energy does not die. It only transform. We go back where we came from. This is amazing. This is awesome. Okay, so we got the emergence, and this is about you leveling up through your experience in life. Island in solitude. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, Dawn, you need to release those thoughts, those fears, those worries. There is massive clouds over top of you in this card. You're this beautiful lavender tree here, but we can hardly see your beauty because you're holding on to these thoughts, holding on to these fears, holding on to these things that happened so long ago. Release, release, and move forward. Remember how strong you are. I've got the mountain and the strength card. You've got untapped reserves of strength. You know, that mountain, we look at the most beautiful mountain we can look at and imagine to, you know, just imagine there's so much more below the surface compared to what we're seeing above. So you've got so much and whatever's going on, you can overcome it. I want you to have faith and love on yourself. And I want you to work on Dawn just a little bit of releasing those negative thought patterns, you know, those fears and those worries and anxieties because of, you know, experiences you've had. And I love you so much, Dawn. Thank you for calling in. Oh my, I don't know if Dawn is still here, but I love you angels. I'm running out of time and I want to tell you to make sure you come on over to thepsychictruth.com slash radio. Just for you listeners out there in Radio Land, there's a special promotion, five 30-minute free readings from your psychic of choice. Three-minute promotion uh, for new subscribers, first three minutes free. 